right. Hey guys, it's Latasha Spencer. Welcome back to a new video. Okay guys, so as you guys can tell by today's title, um, I'm doing my 2023 hygiene routine. What? Period. All right y'all, so if y'all can't tell, I'm in my bathroom right now um, on the floor with all my products. First up is going to be oral care. All right, you guys, so to achieve this, oh, let me shut up. <laughs> but the first step in any good oral hygiene routine is flossing. I use these Plackers Twin Line Dental Flosses because they clean really, really good. Like if you can blow air through your teeth, they're clean. <laughs> And these, the twin line ones, let me take one out to show you guys. The twin line ones, I don't know if you guys can tell. Yeah, you can see. Um, They have two lines and that really, really, I feel like that really like deep cleans them. They don't break, you know, they're just really stable. So yeah, I really like these. Not to mention that they, like you can kind of taste them. Oh, yep, mint flavor you can really taste right there. Yep. Next up is going to be toothpaste. Well, actually, before you start with toothpaste, you gotta have a toothbrush. Which, uh, I, you know, I've been using this a lot, so ignore it. <laughs> Don't ignore it, but ignore it. Um, this is my toothbrush. This is an Oral B electric um toothbrush. Those are the only ones I use. So I have three favorite toothpaste. Toothpaste is toothpaste. Whatever. So I have three favorites. Um, as you can tell, I use this one a lot. This is the Colgate Optic White with Charcoal. But yeah, this is the one I really use. All my toothpaste you're going to see are all whitening toothpaste because I think that, you know, whitening is like the my main priority. Whitening and good breath. Those are my main priorities when it comes to oral care. Which is why my next one is this one. This is the Colgate, again. The Colgate Optic White Stain Fighter. This one is kind of the same thing, but it doesn't have charcoal in it. Yeah. I really just go on and use this one. I literally just got this one from the Dollar, from, um, Dollar Tree. No, no, I didn't. I got this one from um, the Walmart travel section because I told you guys this on my last, not my last video, on my um, last shower routine video when I had got this. Yeah, um, this is the Colgate Total Whole Mouth Health. Yeah, so it really just like helps everything. And of course, it's still whitening because, you know, whitening is my main priority. So those are my three favorite toothpaste. After that, I like to go in with a tongue scraper to make sure that our tongues are nice and clean. Most of your bad breath comes from your tongue. So you have to make sure that you're like deep cleaning your tongue, you guys. I mean it. <laughs> but yeah, I just go in with this one. I Actually, this one I got from the dollar store. This is a Dollar Tree tongue brush and... It don't matter how much your tongue brush is, as long as you can ah, and get everything off, you can get it from anywhere. And last, the last thing I use is mouthwash. If you guys have been watching me for a long time, you guys know that this is the first mouthwash I showed on this channel. Um, this is from the Dollar Tree. <laughs> This is the Lavoris Whitening Mouthwash in the scent Fresh Mint. It tastes like really, really good. And it's whitening. It doesn't give you that, you know, paper white whitening kind of thing. But it does, you know, keep your teeth. It does like fight stains against your teeth. All right, you guys, which brings me to this one. This, uh, this goes with the toothpaste. As y'all can tell, Colgate. Colgate is my stuff. But see, they're both the same brand. This is the toothpaste. This is the mouthwash. It's the Colgate Optic White um, mouthwash. It's a whitening mouthwash in the scent, I mean, in the flavor, Icy, Icy Fresh Mint. 
so yeah that is all for oral care whatever so skincare next um i have three favorite cleansers are first up the noxzema classic clean original this one is really really good this is the first cleanser that i feel actually deep cleaned my skin and left it like not stripping it like it cleaned it without stripping my skin next up is the garnier micellar cleansing water right here you guys i i use this as an all-around clean i use this to take off makeup this this does everything and it's mattifying too because my pores my pores are huge you guys so that's why i need a mattifying one um it's for oily skin but yeah this one removes makeup it cleanses and it purifies purifies pores so yeah this is definitely absolutely amazing and it, mat it mattifies for oily skin and i have oily skin and this is a holy grail product for my oily skin you guys now this this is a holy grail for my oily terrible pore having skin this is the Noxzema Daily Deep Pore Oil-Free Cleanser, Ultimate Clear, period. Um, effectively removes dirt and oil. It really, like, get gets deep in your pores to kind of, like, you know, get all the dirt from down there. I have really, really seen my skin transform since I've been using this. And I've had absolutely no problems with it. My skin purged like the first two days of me using it, but after that, nothing. Nothing but clear skin, smooth skin. Like my pores, I could visibly see them kind of like shrinking, shrinking or like getting smaller, you guys. Or they weren't like less visible, at least. Guys, next up is serums and moisturizers my favorite serum is the fenty fat water like i've literally got everything off the bottle just one thing on the bottle <laughs> this this it's not like other serums it's so smooth i don't i don't even know you guys i don't even know i feel like it really brightens my skin i also use it to shave my face so I use it, you know, every day, every night. And you guys, you guys, this gets my dark spots out. Only moisturizer I use for my face as of right now. This is the Coco Beautiful Cocoa Butter Lotion with Vitamin E. So yeah, there's not a whole, whole lot to say about that one. We all know what Cocoa Butter does. I mean, at least unless you don't. We all know what cocoa butter does. It's moisturizing. It helps with um, dark spots. And once again, we come back with the Fenty for our sunscreen. Period. This is the Fenty Skin Sunscreen. I'm not sure what it's actually called. I'll probably put it like right there. But this is the Fenty Skin Sunscreen. You guys, this is the only sunscreen that I've tried so far that doesn't give me a white cast. Not to mention, it doesn't like break me out, which a lot of sunscreens do. They break my skin out. So I feel like it's really sensitive as well. So yeah. Lastly, in the skincare aisle, <laughs> in the skincare category I meant is face mask. Y'all, I'm a face mask girl one is the dead sea mud mask from majestic pure cosmeticals really detoxifies your face like better than charcoal you guys this clay mask i'm not even playing with you it's so thick and it's so aesthetically pleasing too this one is the peach slices snail rescue mask my dark spots my dark spots reduced all right you guys and on oh my god on to body care 
Okay, so first up, Olay Vitamin C. You guys, that is so good. Like, can y'all see how bright your girl's skin is? Like, period. I really didn't think it was, like, doing too much. But, like, after a while, I began to notice, oh, my God, my skin is really, really bright recently. This why. So after I do that, I go in with a body scrub. This is the brown sugar and coconut butter one. But honestly, it don't even matter the scent. Dove did their thing with these body polishes. I'm going to tell you that right now. Dove did their thing with these body polishes. But, but. It is brown sugar one. It smells good. It's deeply exfoliating. It leaves your skin feeling like butter. Butter. Right after. I use a duo. I actually use these together with my loofah. But this is the Olay Cocoa Butter and the Dove Pampering. Now, listen. If you've been alive on this earth, you've tried this before. They all feel the same. They all do. They all do the same thing. Not really. But most of them they actually do the same thing. This one's the Pampering one. It's in Shea Butter and Vanilla. As y'all can tell, I'm a vanilla girl. And this one. This. This one moisturizes my body like no other. Like no other girl. I could have dry skin one day. Extremely dry skin one day use this and right after i get out the shower baby soft this one's in the scent cocoa butter if y'all want to get this one but you know i also like the one in the scent shea butter so you know i use both of these together along with this this is the olay nighttime rinse off body conditioner so i um only do the trio at night but i use the duo in the morning but the trio, I don't know how I feel about the Olay conditioner. I like it because it helps with dark spots on my body. But, you know, like if that's something you're struggling with, dark spots on your body, your body's kind of dull. I recommend getting the Olay um, nighttime body conditioner because it has retinol in it. And retinol is really good for, you know, just giving your skin the boost it needs to regenerate itself so that's you know how you know it gets your dark spots to disappear or lighten out or even out and you know how it just kind of like brightens up your body so yeah is wash to what wa wa wash the punani wash the kitty cat downstairs area okay so I use the honey pot. I use honey pot. I got two of them in my box. I use the honey pot. But it's plant derived. So yeah, plant derived. So it come like this thing, it's made out of plants, basically. Yo, this this one right here, my fave. This gets your vagina and your booty hole. Cause don't don't act like y'all don't be cleaning y'all butts. And if you don't, you're nasty. Nice and clean. Of course, don't use this on your whole thing. Because don't, don't come to me when, you know, you... Let me shut up. I'm sorry. Y'all, and it's so, so easy. Shake it. Squirt it three times. I like doing four because, you know, I also got to work. I got I to gotta wash the back area, too. This, this one right here. This is the Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula with Vitamin E. And this body oil right here, it smells so good. I thought it smelled like a cake. My sister told me it smelled like a grandma. I use this actually right when I turn off the water and then I just put it all over my body while I'm still wet. That is my favorite way to use this. And then I dap, dap myself um, off with the towel. Okay, y'all, this is my favorite body lotion. But, you know, so this is the EOS Shea Better 24-Hour Moisture Body Lotion. And it's in Vanilla Cashmere. Ooh, y'all, I'm not even playing. Listen, 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 listen. 
This is so soft. It's so smooth. It just um it don't it don't do any of that things where it's like you know it lightens up your skin and stuff like that. It just gets you moisturized. It's not it's not greasy, it's not sticky or nothing like that. Cause I like you just get like this nice sheen on your body. Like, look, see I used this lotion this morning. Like, y'all look how moisturized my skin is. All right, let me shut up. My second favorite. As you can tell, my second favorite is this honey lotion from Victoria's Secret. Um, this one has shea butter too, so you know y'all might just you know be able to tell that I'm you know shea butter is very very moisturizing. Everybody use it. This smells so so good. I don't know if it smells like honey. I don't know how moisturizing it is. Also makes this one of my faves. Once again, this these aren't the type of body body lotions that like do actual stuff for your skin. They just it just smell good. It just smell good and it's very well moisturized. It don't do nothing else. <laughs> and then lastly, this one is the pink cashmere body lotion from Bath and Body Works. It has shea butter and vitamin E. Yeah, y'all. Once again, y'all, these don't do nothing other than keep your skin moisturized and make it smell good. They don't do nothing. But I know for a fact that I, that when I wear these body washes, body lotions, I mean, and I walk past somebody, they be like, oh, girl, you smell good. Now, you know, period. And the body, the body oil, it really helps it stick. It really, really does. Now, I don't use the body oil with this lotion because it don't, they don't smell similar at all because this one is way more sweeter. It doesn't have a vanilla kind of scent to it, or at least I don't think it does. Yeah, the keynotes are pink jasmine petals, creamy sandalwood, white amber, and cashmere musk. You guys, it does not smell like the body oil at all. So I don't use it because it, I don't use those two together because they kind of clash together. But but even by itself, the scent of this lasts so, so long. I really like this one. Next up in this girl talk, we're going to talk about shaving. Now, I use, I shave with EOS. I shave with EOS because, you know... I don't know, girl. I just be smooth. I be smooth after I use it. Once again, it don't do nothing. It don't do nothing. It don't do nothing. It smells good. It 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 don't do nothing. It works wet and dry. I prefer using it wet, just because you know I be in the shower when I shave in. I use my you know Gillette Venus razor. I shave my arms. Shave, shave, shave. I shave my underarms, shave, shave, shave. Um, I shave my legs, and y'all, I shave, I shave my vagina. I use a different razor, so I'm not, you know, contaminating my vagina with the um shave better. But this one is the regular one without any sense to it. This this one has colloidal oatmeal, so I really just use this one for her, her downstairs. And then lastly, y'all, lastly. Let's not do my feet, y'all, because these feet, feet are dangerous. So, what I do, so I use my foot scrub right here. I scrub it with these two things right here while I'm in the shower, okay? And this thing has a pumice stone on it and a little foot brush. I use that. And then, I squeeze a little bit on it again. A little bit of this on it again. And I just like I'm filing my nails. This is the Earth Therapeutics Refreshing Foot Scrub Therapeutic Exfoliator. It got wild mint, tea tree oil, and some winter green. When I get out the shower, girl, I just go in with my palmers. It's the same way with my body oil, girl. And I go in with a little body oil on my feet too. I don't use the palmers one. I actually use this tea, um Dr. Till's one. It's the eucalyptus one. The um, Palmer's one is the Hill Soft Fence. It's a real thick moisturizer. See? Hold on, y'all. 
because I don't think I my feet that they're gonna dry. But yeah, rub it in your hands, it gets you know kind of oily, and then you just you know put it on your feet, put on a sock, boom, you're done. But yeah. <laughs> y'all that is that is it for today's video um make sure you like comment subscribe i've been talking for an hour <laughs> make sure you like comment subscribe and turn on that post notification button thing my jiggy to make sure that you never miss a post upload or video period y'all i look pretty today i'm all right bye i'll catch y'all on the next video peace